Hey what's up guys, in this video I am going to tell you about 10 hidden features of Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. So let's get started. If you have ever used a Samsung phone, then chances are you already know about the edge panels. This feature has been on Samsung phones for eternity now, but on this tablet it goes one step further in being super useful and actually makes more sense using this vast screen. There is actually a way to pin the panels app on the display permanently. You can have access to your most used apps all the time. So to activate it, first you have to go to advanced features and settings and then go in labs. Here you will see this option called pin your favorite apps, toggle it on. Once you've done it, now go in edge panels and you will see this new option to pin it on screen. Tap on it and now you will see that the edge panel is placed on the screen. You can swipe up and down to access more apps and app pairs. And there is this toggle option here to switch between panels mode and pin mode. This puts your favorite apps and app pairs right at your fingertips and allow you to launch them quickly from anywhere at any time. Tab Asset Ultra comes with 12 GB of RAM which is a lot for normal day-to-day -day use. However, if you feel that you need more RAM because you want more apps to stay open in the background, there is the option to increase the RAM on your tablet. And to do this, you need to go into settings and then in battery and device care. Here go in memory and you will see this option called RAM Plus. Tap on it and you will see that it allows you to double the amount of RAM available for your background apps. You can also read how exactly this works but the simple fact of the matter is that if you have a lot of apps installed on this tablet and you want them to stay open in the background, you have a virtual memory available here that you can increase to help yourself with this issue. Tab Asset Ultra comes with a massive 11200mAh battery and the best time to charge it is usually at night. But this practice is known to deteriorate the battery health in the long term. So did you know that there is a way which lets you to protect the battery health of this tablet? Well there is and to turn this feature on, go to the battery and device care, then in battery and then in more battery settings. Here you will see the last option which is to protect the battery toggle it on and what it will do is that it will limit the charging to 85% and once that limit is reached it will pause the charging. This protects the battery against degradation and over time you will be able to enjoy longer battery life for months and years to come. Another really cool feature is assistant menu. It puts all the important controls of your tablet in one place and actually makes an excellent companion for a tablet as big as this. So here you can see that it lives on the screen. You can tap to expand it and it will give you navigation and volume controls. A button for the screenshot, turn off the screen, pull down a notification panel and bring up power of menu. One of my favorite controls is the cursor button which gives you a cursor pad and an actual cursor that you can use to control the entire screen with just your thumb. You can also go in its menu settings and change what items appear on the assistant menu and remove the ones you don't want. There is also an option to modify the size of the button and its transparency. This assistant menu button has been living on my screen since the day I have discovered it. Did you know that you can play the media on Tab Asset Ultra from two different apps on two separate audio devices? On Galaxy Tab Asset Ultra, you can be watching a movie on Netflix and at the same time play music on a Bluetooth speaker or headphones. To set this up, go in settings, then in sounds and vibration and here scroll down. You will see this option, separate app sound. Turn it on and it will ask you for the apps that you want to play the audio from on a separate device. You can select pretty much any app from your tablet. Next, select the device where you want the audio from the selected apps to play on, the tablet itself or a Bluetooth device. I would recommend selecting apps that you want to play on the tablet and all the other apps will play their sound on the Bluetooth device connected to the tablet. Then you can start using the selected apps with their sound emitting from the tablet and launch a second app which can be a music app and sound coming from the Bluetooth device at the same time. Now let's talk about one of the productivity features of this tablet. If you want to get out of the daily rut of wasting time on social media and streaming services, you can actually put a daily time limit on them. Once that limit is used up, these apps will shut down automatically and you will not be able to use them until the next day. This is an excellent way of limiting your time you spend online. And you can do this by going in settings, then in digital well-being and here go in app timers. Tap on these hourglass icons in front of the apps and set the time limit. After you have used that app for that much time, it will be locked for the rest of the day. Did you know that you can use the S Pen to write in any text field and the Tab Asset Ultra will detect and convert it into the text automatically? This makes using this tablet with S Pen a no-brainer. You don't have to switch between on-screen keyboard or S Pen while working on this tablet. So here is how this feature works. First, you have to make sure that you are using Samsung keyboard by default. Then whenever you have to type into a text field, instead bring your S Pen closer and you will see this icon appear, which means you can simply write with your S Pen and it will automatically be converted into text. Tab Asset Ultra is not a cheap device and you would surely want to keep it safe and would like to have some fail safes in place 
in case if it gets lost or gets stolen so you can recover it. The good news is that you can do that but the bad news is that it is not turned on by default so you must do this as soon as possible. First, make sure that you are logged into your Samsung account. Then go in settings and then in biometric settings and here go in find my mobile. Below that you will see another setting called offline finding. By default it is not turned on so toggle it on. What this does is that even if your lost tablet is not connected to the Wi-Fi, it can be found using the same feature on other people's Galaxy devices. Similarly, you would be accepting this feature so your Galaxy device can be used to find other people's devices. Then, if you don't want other people to poke into the location of your lost device, Device, you can encrypt the location and set up a PIN code. Another feature to turn on here is send last location which will make your tablet to send its last location to the find my mobile server before turning off. So even if it runs out of battery and turns off you will still know its last location through find my mobile. Next up you can also change the color palette of your entire tablet and base it on the colors extracted from your wallpaper. You can do this by two ways. One is when setting up a new wallpaper from your gallery app. It will ask you to select the color palette which will then be applied to your device and you can change it later as well by going in wallpaper settings and going in color palette. When you will select a certain palette, it will then show you how it will look in different settings and pages on your Tab Asset Ultra. There is also an option to apply the same color palette to the app icons as well. However, if you don't like the color palettes, you can stick to the original one. You can also set up your lock screen to look differently every time you turn the display on. You can do this by going in settings, then in lock screen and here go in wallpaper services. Select dynamic lock screen and here you can choose up to 5 categories and download them. Also toggle on the auto update feature at the bottom of the page so new updates will be downloaded automatically. Then every time you will turn on the display, you will see a new wallpaper which keep things fresh on your tablet. So that's about it from this video guys. I hope you've enjoyed it and learned something new. I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.